<laughs> Hi, my name is Harold, and I'm the CEO in Glint Solar. We have developed a software tool for solar energy developers, and our goal is to accelerate the installations of solar energy all around the world. Did you know that if we are going to meet the target in, in the Paris Agreement with a maximum 1.5 degree increase in the, in the global heating, we have to build eight solar parks like this every day in Europe for the next 30 years. And, and this solar park is 10 megawatt. It uh, consists of about 20,000 solar panels. It's um, about the size of uh, 20 football fields. So every day, we have to build eight solar parks like this. And that's just in Europe. In the world, we have to build about 10 times as many. And we're not doing that now. But there are a lot of capital being invested in the sector in, in last year. It was invested $184 billion in solar. And, um, and for the next years, it's going to grow with more than 20% every year. And all this capital is being invested, and the price is very low now for solar energy. Uh, but the big challenge now is that you, you have to find where are you going to build all, all this, uh, this solar. And that's why there are a lot of companies now looking to try to find this. And that's the problem that we are solving. And in Glint Solar, we are using uh, satellite data, machine learning, and uh, various other data sources to, to help solve this problem. And why this is challenging? Well, take, take for instance, France, if you want to build something there. There are more than 90 million uh, parcels. And for each parcel, you have to evaluate a lot of different factors, like uh, what kind of land it is, what's the slope, what's the, how's the shading, is the floating, is how, what's the distance to the grid where you connect the, the park. And all this takes a long time. So the solar developers, they have told us they really want a tool which is scalable, which they can help they do the work faster and better. And because um, the process when they're doing site identification, for instance, it's very manual. Uh, the tools that exist, they are not really made for the teams working well together. And also the data sources they are using is fragmented. They are often building their own internal tools to try to solve this problem. So that's why we created this tool. Um, I'll show a sm sm small video as well. But here you can see it's, you can easily filter on the map to find a good site. You can go deeper into the, the locations to see how is the topography and uh, other criteria. You can search on, on different parcels based on what kind of land you want to build on, what's the size, what's the distance to various um, roads, distance to the grid. And, uh, and, and then you can start technical and financial analysis. You can create reports to know what's the price, how much money can I make out of this site. And you can also have all the projects you're working on in a, in a, in a group together, uh, so well organized. And, and we, are, we are working on making it very user friendly, easy to use not only to be used by engineers. So here's a short film, one minute. And we try to make it easy as Airbnb. You choose, OK, I want to build on this kind of land. This is the region I want to search in. I want maybe 10 megawatts. I want good solar radiation. And, um, and you can search on things and uh, go directly into the location. Then you can start analyzing, uh, go more deep in what is, what is actually here, what kind of soil quality, how is the steepness around here. And when you have found a place, you can start constructing the solar plant. So here you can choose solar panels and different things and, and different technologies. And you can easily get exactly how much you are producing and you can see the solar plant, how it will actually look like in real. And, and we've been talking to our customers. They say that they can do this now about 20 times faster than what they're doing with existing tools. 
Um, and then we are targeting, there are several s software in the solar energy sector, but almost all of them are in the latest stage in operation and maintenance and asset management and some technical designs. So there's not so much competition in the early phase. So, uh, and that's where we are targeting. And although we are not an old company, we are just two and a half year old, we have been working with leading energy companies uh, all around the world. And we're also working closely with several research institutes to make, it, um, to make unique features and unique data and algorithms. And as I said, the solar energy market is large and is growing more than 20% every year. And you can typically divide the market in three. It's the um, residential rooftop, it's industrial and commercial, typically also rooftop, and the largest segment, utility, which is the ground-mounted solar, about 60% of the market. And this is the market we are operating in. And, and solar energy is now so cheap that it's even, um, you can make profit building it here in Finland. And, uh, and the price, if you build a plant here, is about, it's, I think it's less than half, half price of the nuclear power plant that was started. So it's a, it's a good business to build it now. And our business model is a typical uh, B2B SaaS model. We sell to our customers, solar developers, on a yearly license based on, on usage or geography. And um, then we're also working on uh, testing out product-led growth to, since we see that um, the product creates a lot of value very fast for, for single users. Um, it was started by the three people on the, w on the left here, John, me, and Evan. And we're now build a team of 14 people, uh, very people within energy and, and software and, and data science. And, yeah, and our last edition, Evan here, just join, is joining us in January. He's moving from US. He's been the VP of sales in Helioscope, a leading uh, software seller and, uh, company. So here's a little bit about our journey so far. We started uh, in 2020, right after the corona started. And we've been, uh, had the last financing round in May this year, $3 million. And we are now building the product team and more customers. And uh, we'll have a new round maybe in about 12 months. Yeah, this is my last slide. It's, um, so if you're interested in joining us on our journey, either as investor or as an employee, if you want to make a great impact in the world, if you want to work on challenging problems and work on one of the most important things to, to reduce the climate change, please come and join us. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.